aka Total Makeup Junkie 101 and welcome back to another bonus video. I've been pumping out videos like nobody's business lately. Have you guys noticed? Because I have had three bonus videos go up in the past three weeks and I think you guys should be really proud of me. Today's review video is going to be on a product that I know you guys were really excited about me reviewing when I mentioned it in my Sephora haul video last week and that is the Urban Decay Full Frontal Revolution Lipstick Set. Now this set retails for $39 at Sephora and UrbanDecay.com and when I first saw the set, I wasn't initially going to purchase it only because I didn't feel like the value of what you were getting was worth the price tag. But after thinking about it for a little bit and after realizing that a lot of you guys may want to actually see my review and see my opinion on it as well as lip swatches, which I will be doing in this video, I realized I should just get it just to show you guys. So the set comes in a box like this. It shows all six of the lipsticks you're getting in it as well as the lip liner. And then the actual packaging just slips out of the box like that. And this is the box that all of the lip products are housed in. It is actually a really, really good quality box. It's made of really, really sturdy cardboard. Now, to be honest, I don't really know what else I would use this exact box for but it does have a really nice magnetic opening here as you can see and it does say UD Urban Decay. It is just a nice overall layout. As you can see in this set you are getting six mini sizes of the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick and one full size lip liner in the shade Ozone which is the clear one. As I was saying the box is really really sturdy and made out of nice cardboard but the problem is this little um, like foam piece in here that is you know holding all of the lipsticks and the lip pencil cannot be removed from the actual box so you kind of just have to keep it like this or just take out all the lipsticks and throw away the box because I don't know what else you would actually put in these little slots. This is what the packaging of the little lipsticks looks like. It does say UD here at the top and it does have a little sticker on the bottom with the name of the lipstick. And then the inside of the tube, it just twists up like a traditional little mini lipstick bullet. And this is what it looks like. Now it does look like you are getting a very very small amount of product when you just look at it in the tube like this however after researching some of the quantities and weights of what you're actually getting you are getting 0 0.035 ounces in every lipstick and one full-size revolution lipstick is 0 0.09 ounces so you are basically getting just over a third or right under a half of a full-size lipstick and for somebody who never really finishes a lipstick anyways. I actually don't mind the mini sizes at all. They're nice and cute. They would fit in a little clutch purse very, very easily. And I do like them. The only thing is you do have to be a little bit careful when applying the lipstick because it is so thin. Um, you may actually end up breaking, you know, the lipstick out of the tube. So you just want to be a little bit careful. The good thing is because these Revolution lipsticks are so creamy and so pigmented, you really don't have to press very hard on your lips when you're applying them. So as long as you're careful with them, I don't think you would have a problem with the lipstick breaking. So now I'm just going to jump into an individual review on all six of these lipstick colors. I will show you guys swatches on my lips as well as up close swatches on my hand. This first shade on my lips is called Liar and this is a mid-tone neutral peachy type color. It's actually a nude that looks really really flattering on my skin tone. This next shade on my lips is Illicit and this one wasn't as impressive to me as traditional Urban Decay Revolution lipsticks have been known to be because this one is a lot more sheer. You'll see it in the hand swatch. It's kind of a sheer, medium, neutral, yellowy pink. Um, it does look really pretty on. It does have a little bit of shimmer in it, but it's just not as pigmented or as creamy as these Urban Decay lipsticks can be. This next shade on my lips is Lady Flower, and this is one that they really, really need to make permanent. It is so beautiful. It is a medium dark, 
kind of like a mauvey pink type color. It's a very neutral pink, super wearable. You can see this type of pink lip would go with any eye look. I just love it. This next shade is Crush, and this is probably the most unique looking one in the tube. It is a very, very hot pink with kind of a goldish duochrome to it. On the lips, the golden duochrome doesn't unfortunately transfer. It is just like a really, really hot, almost neon pink color. Super, super beautiful, but I'm sure this isn't a very unique one in terms of color. This next shade on my lips is 69, and this is just the classic pinup red color. It is a nice, bright red. Perfect for Christmas. I keep staring at myself in the viewfinder, I apologize, because this shade is just so eye-catching. It's gorgeous. And this last shade on my lips is called Gash, and this is a gorgeous deepened berry red color. It still has enough red in it, but it does pull a lot more purple than 69, the last one I showed you. And this one does have a little bit of red shimmer in it, so it gives it a little bit of dimension. So I hope that individual review and the lip swatches were helpful for you guys. I love doing lip swatch videos because I feel like you guys can get a really true um, essence sense of what the lipstick will look like on your skin tone, especially if you're of skin tone like mine. Now the other thing you're getting in this set, as you can see, is a full size clear lip liner. This is one of Urban Decay's 24-7 lip liners in the shade Ozone. This is a full size clear lip liner. Now I'm not going to try this on or anything because it literally is completely clear. Now, if you guys have never tried a clear lip liner before, these are also called reverse lip liners in the makeup world. Basically, what you use these as is you outline the surrounding edge of your lips. You don't want to actually line the inside of your lips with these clear lip liners because what they essentially are is a really um, thin, waxy layer. And what happens is um, lipstick cannot stick to this actual wax. So when you overline your lips or you kind of draw the border around your lips, like I said, it's completely clear so you won't be able to tell anything is there. But when you border your lips with a clear lip pencil and then fill in your lips with any lipstick that you want, the lipstick will not bleed or it will not feather because this wax doesn't allow for lipstick to basically transfer in that area. And this lip pencil, I believe, is $19 if you just purchased it alone. So the fact that you are getting all of this stuff for $39, I was gonna purchase this clear lip liner individually anyways for $19. So so in my head it was worth it to get the set because I just pay an extra $20 and I get six lipsticks. Three of the lipstick colors are exclusive to this set. So if you are curious in the shades Lady Flower, Illicit, or Crush, those are the three that are exclusive to this set. The other three you can purchase in the full size lipstick tubes. For those of you guys who are not familiar with the Urban Decay Revolution lipstick formula, it is absolutely fantastic. It is one of my favorites ever at Sephora, at the drugstore, anything. It's just one of my all-time favorite lipstick formulas. It is super, super creamy. Most of the shades are incredibly opaque with the exception of the one that I pointed out in the individual swatches. They last on your lips for a really, really good amount of time, especially the darker or bolder colors like the one I'm wearing on my lips right now, which is Gash. But overall, I just really, really love them. They're slightly hydrating. They still deliver enough color. They don't bleed especially if you use the reverse lip liner with them. Overall, I do think that $39 to pay for this set is not a bad price. I do kind of wish Urban Decay um, made these lipsticks a little bit bigger. Like if they were half the size of a full-size Revolution lipstick, I would tell you to run out, don't even hesitate, go get this kit immediately. But the fact that each of them is only about one third of the size of a full size, I would say, you know, if you're only interested in two or three shades of the lipstick, it probably isn't going to be worth your money. But for me, since I only had a mini size of the 69 lipstick in my collection already, I didn't have any any of the other five shades, I did think it was worth it for me. 
So I hope this review video was helpful for you guys. Let me know if you guys are gonna pick up this lipstick stash or what you guys think of the colors that are available in it. I am really happy with the six colors they picked because they all flatter my skin tone really well. I didn't find any of them to be too light or too pasty or too chalky for me, which is sometimes a problem with kits like this. Oftentimes they'll throw in a light nude color, which looks awful on me. So thank you guys so much for watching this bonus video and I will catch you guys on Monday. Bye! In this bad boy, you are getting 15 of the deluxe sample or the mini sized box. Very Indian inspired as you can tell with this really beautiful like burgundy red.